Three of the largest reservoirs along the Colorado River are seeing their water levels drop once again by as much as eight feet. Lake Mojave to the south of us is expected to hit its lowest level of the fall and winter seasons today. However, the declines at Lake Mead, Lake Havasu and Lake Mojave especially are not due to drought, but are rather a deliberate action by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. Fox 5's Les Criffiton explains why the water has to go down before it can rise again. The annual drawdown of Colorado River reservoirs is underway. This means that over the next few days, weeks, and months, Lake Mead, Lake Mojave, and Lake Havasu will all see their water levels drop. Typically in the late fall and early winter, we, we experience a lot of precipitation and a lot of rain events in the basin. And as part of our mission to manage water, uh, you know, in an effective manner, we lower Lake Mojave to allow us to capture additional runoff in the basin. Noah Santos is the Lower Basin River Operations Manager for the Bureau of Reclamation. He tells us they have to let some water out to fit more in. And the next several months are prime time for replenishing the Colorado. Especially this winter where we're entering an El Nino year, we, we typically see a, additional rain events in the basin as well that produce a lot of runoff. Fall rain will give way to winter snow, with all the runoff from both going into the river and then onto its reservoirs. The Bureau needs a place to put all the water, so it's releasing some eight feet from Mojave alone simply to clear space. Havasu 2 will also see levels sink. But what this allows us to do is release a little bit less water out of Lake Mead, and we typically see a decrease of about five feet between October and December at Lake Mead. But Reclamation doesn't want it to drop too low, and it uses the other reservoirs to ensure that doesn't happen. Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu operate a little bit differently than Lake Mead. They serve as additional reservoirs to re-regulate the water from Hoover Dam. As you know, Hoover Dam is a peaking power plant, so its hourly releases are quite turbulent, and they match the energy demand in, in the region. So having Lake Mojave and Lake Havasu there allows allows us to re-regulate the flows and provide a more steady and reliable source of water for, for use downstream. It's a strategy that makes sure every customer in the lower Colorado River Basin gets what they need. And all that, of course, helps us with managing water in Lake Mead and reducing the amount of water that we have to release from, from Hoover Dam as well. Les Griffin, Vox 5 News, local Las Vegas.